Hi guys, Virtus Education here with yet another video, the second of the Unreal Development Kit beginner series. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Unreal Development Kit, the engine we are working with, in the best possible way for uh, my future tutorials. So, first and foremost, you want to head over to unrealengine.com, where we are actually going to be getting the, uh, the, the uh, installer from. Go ahead and go up to the UDK section and then go over to downloads and make sure you get the latest version of UDK or alternatively if you want to have the highest chance of success with my tutorials just make sure you download the February 2013 build which I'm going to be using as uh, newer builds may not work exactly the same as mine but if there's something completely new and innovative such as Unreal Engine 4 support you might want to go with that but that's probably a long way off and you're probably best off going with the build that I'm going on so you can follow along uh, as best as possible. So go ahead and click this and you should uh, start downloading it. Once you've done that just go ahead and open it. I've already started downloading it uh, just to save time. I would also like to show off a few things in the meantime. So I'm pretty sure you should be familiar with what a game engine is already. It is essentially um, a piece of software that brings all the different game elements together uh, for example let's say you have animation you have audio you have uh, you know your programming you'd all put that into your game engine and that game engine would essentially allow the player and the developer to try out the game develop it and uh, so on and so forth having said that um, we're going to be utilizing the features of game engine to bring all the stuff we've developed together in uh, the engine for example, uh, all the stuff such as models we, we're going to put together in 3ds Max in our upcoming series, we're going to bring that into UDK, all the textures, or the sounds, etc, and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, while it's downloading, I would also like to uh, show you some of these features. There's a whole bunch of stuff such as AI, artificial intelligence, audio, uh, Kismet, Kismet being their amazing visual scripting interface, uh, you know, their scale form systems, their Unreal Script system, which is their own language, the networking, it's all just brilliant. So while it's downloading, just check out some of these different boxes here. Click on them, read a little bit about them, and hopefully you should get a little bit of insight as to what they actually are from just reading them. So, there's also one other thing I'd like to point out, actually two. Uh, there is a place called UDN, which essentially allows you to read up on a bunch of documentation for Unreal Development Kit. Uh, this can range from guides to just how-tos to how to use things or even bug fixes. You know, you can uh, learn a lot from UDN, as when I first started, that was pretty much the only resource I had available to me for actually learning the engine, and it's still a very valuable resource alongside my tutorials, so I advise you check that out. And also, I advise you check out the UDK community forums, as there's tons and tons of developers on there that work with UDK, so if you have any problems, you can you can go on there, and I'm pretty sure someone will help you out, or you can even help out others. It's a pretty good community, and, you know, it's a good place to indulge yourself in. I myself am on there, and I act actively, uh, and I actively participate. So uh, hopefully you should have downloaded uh, the engine by now and have the installer up. Nobody actually reads these end user license agreements, so just go ahead, straight down, press accept. I've actually read this, so I'm not, just so I don't get bitched at, but uh, nonetheless, nobody reads them, and uh, you probably should, but no one does it. So just go ahead and press accept, and uh, over here it will al uh, allow you to choose your different type of projects. Uh, firstly, you have an empty game which starts you off with nothing, no presets, no code, just a very, very basic form of Unreal Development Kit. And over here, you also have a UT sample game, which is essentially what we are going to be using. This provides you with samples for things like levels, models, programming, and all that good stuff. And the reason why I'm going to be using this is, one, because, uh, you know, so we have something to test along and use. And secondly, because if we have something to view that's already been made, I feel it makes uh, a better learning experience because you have something to view at all times as opposed to googling every single issue. So just go ahead and choose UT sample game. Choose your directory. I'm just going to dump it straight in here, but I'm going to change. Uh, I'm not going to change the name. You can change if you want. It doesn't alter anything, and it should start installing. Uh, there isn't anything else you need to do further from here, it's just going to go through decompressing and then it will actually go on to actually installing 
a bunch of prerequisites, redistributables, redistributables, and then the engine itself. The actual installation process shouldn't take any more than 5 to 10 minutes depending on your hard drive speed, so don't worry about that. In the meantime, just go look around at the uh, community forums, whatever you may be. You know, let's say you want to join the team, work on a game, you can go there. Uh, you can view some work in progress uh, stuff, which is actually up on UDK forums itself already. For example, let's have a look. It's Ocean Twin uh, DX11 sources inside. This might be somewhat beneficial. UDK doesn't give a too pretty uh, water shader, but here we go. You know, it looks real sexy, even the the uh, rocks look pretty attractive there. Nonetheless, there's a whole bunch of different topics on here. I really, really strongly advise you go check it out. Also, um, I am going to temporarily pause the recording and I'll get back to you once all the prerequisites have actually gone through. Uh, so, wait, never mind, there we go. But anyway, it's installing now. I'm going to pause and get back to it just before it finishes. So, it just finished uh, installing and it's now asking us whether or not we want to install some extras in the form of a Perforce server and client. Uh, Perforce is essentially uh, UDK's version of an SVN which essentially allows you to um, uh, you know, have subversion control inside of your UDK environment really easily. However, if you're not on a team or anything like that, I don't think you're actually going to need it. But uh, if you just want to be future proof, go ahead. But uh, definitely not advised if you're not on a team and you aren't uh, very and you aren't necessarily going to be working with an SVN or know what an SVN is. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and press next and uh, just go ahead and launch uh, UDK. It's really that simple, very straightforward forward and it's mostly just a waiting game for their installer to just do all the magic for you. So any moment now the uh, the engine itself should open up. Seeing as it's the first time it's, boot, it's actually uh, opened up on this boot it may take a little bit of time but uh, the second time obviously it's not going to take as long as it's going to be in your memory ready to be called like pretty much straight away and I believe there should be a lovely little splash screen as you can see here and there we go we got the engine open so before I actually end off the video I'm just going to show you uh, me flying around inside a UDK in a test map so you can actually see the short the sheer power of the engine so uh, let's go ahead and open up DM deck which is one of the UT3 sample maps I'm not sure if I'm gonna get in trouble for showing it due to copyright reasons but uh I'm pretty sure I'm not, but anyway, you can just see me flying around with my mouse here inside of UDK. There's a lot of power, the graphics quality is quite frankly amazing, and you even have some amazing features such as light shafts, which I will show you. Uh, I can't, there we go. You can see we've got some nice lovely light shafts, you can see we've got volumetric light fog, fog and a bunch of other amazing, amazing features which are quite frankly just sexy and uh, with this sort of power I believe after my tutorial series you'll be able to create something really 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 great so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the next video in which I will be covering the user interface the direct interface uh, the content browser kismet and even matinee so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye